A celebration of life turned tragic over the weekend when a local woman suffered terrible burns after she fell into a fire. The accident made a sad day even worse and made a hero out of one of the mourners. New tonight at 6, as 10 News reporter Taj Simmons shows us, quick actions may have helped, but there's still a long road to recovery. Jess Perkins has always been the life of the party. Her sister Lindsay Brown says that's why she left Roanoke for the bright lights of Nashville. She is just magnetic and she always has been. She uh, collects friends through every stage of life. She came back home this weekend and her life changed in the blink of an eye. And Jess simply stumbled and lost her balance and fell face first into the fire pit. Perkins has second and third degree burns on her face and neck. She came home for a funeral. Tyler Moore, the brother of the person who died, likely saved Perkins' life. I see her feet go in the air and she was face first down in the embers and I just grabbed her as quick as I could and uh, everything was a blur from that point. Perkins has a long road ahead to recovery. She will likely stay hospitalized in Richmond for months, far from her family in Roanoke County. They can't even visit her because of COVID-19 restrictions. That's hard for everyone. I mean, to not be able to be there to hold her hand or just to look her in the eye and say, we're going to get through this. Brown did the next best thing. She posted the GoFundMe for her sister on Tuesday. Within the day, it raised more than $15,000. The money means much more than just a medical bill. She's in the restaurant industry, so she's already been out of work for about eight weeks, and so savings are depleted. The fire may have changed Perkins' life, but her sister says it has not changed her heart. She'll drop whatever she's doing to be a good friend, and, and now people are ready to kind of pay that back. In Roanoke County, Taj Simmons, 10 News, working for you. Wow. Perkins family says it may take a year to fully recover from the fire. And we do have a link to her GoFundMe on our website, WSLS.com.